Hey guys, it is a disgusting, gloomy day today. I have both the kids' bathroom and the upstairs bathroom to clean. So I figured why not film it and share with you my typical easy weekly cleaning routine. I'm not gonna be doing the showers today or the tub area because I like to do that when I'm actually in the shower. It just makes it so much easier, but I have filmed that routine a bunch of times. So I'll put it up in the cards and down below if you wanna check it out. So starting today in the kids' bathroom, I feel like I clean it and then boom, it's, it's like this and I just leave it and I get it done when I get it done at the end of the week. So I like to just go through everything, toss what they're not using, hairbrushes get gross. I like to clean those out, keep them nice and neat. to store like rubber bands, hair clips, that kind of thing. I just repurpose candle jars. It's really easy, you just pop them in the freezer, the wax comes out, clean them, and it makes for a really good organization and multi-purpose use. In the top drawer, I have baskets for each of my kids, toothpaste, band-aids, that kind of thing. And then this is my daughter's drawer that has like her hair stuff, skincare, and then the bottom one is for my son. And now everything with these tweens is like skincare and all this stuff. I'm like, you got a better collection than I do. It's ridiculous. To clean the sinks today, we're gonna use the scrubbing bubbles. I also Love, love, love this for the shower. It works really good on shower glass, gets all the soaps come out. And if you don't use a cleaning brush, you don't have to get like an electric one. I do have those, they're fancy. Just get a good old cleaning scrub brush. You can get it from like Target or Walmart. I'll link to my favorites down below. It is just such a game changer if you have kids where there's like clumps of toothpaste in the sink, it's dried on, or just like chunks of soap and you know, just gunk. The brush is gonna get in there and easily remove everything. To clean my countertops, they are quartz. I just use soap and water in a spray bottle. Makes it really easy, nothing fancy. And I like to use the microfiber cloths. Easy, washable, reusable. And always make sure you're getting behind the faucet. There's like that little awkward area where little hair shavings or just gross stuff gets back in there and I always forget to really get back there and clean. So to do my mirrors today, I'm using the Method Glass Cleaner. I really like it. It's probably a close second to the regular Windex. Actually, I like the, I forget what scent I like. It's like the fresh whatever. I'll put it up on the screen, but that one's really good because it smells good. And Glass Cleaner works really nice at cleaning faucets and any like handles, that kind of thing. It's gonna remove any streaking. It's gonna polish it and get it nice and shiny. I wish the camera depicted what I could see on my end because when I tell you that these kids must just spit toothpaste all over these cabinets, <laughs> but the Windex or not the Windex, the Method Cleaner works good. Just like a little soap and water works really great too if you don't have glass cleaner. So to do the toilet, I do this every, probably every few days just because they're kids and I just like a clean toilet. I just keep it simple, use disinfectant wipes. I get them nice and wet and saturated and let them stay really damp for like 10 minutes and then it just dries down by itself. I don't use any scrub brushes or sponges on the toilet. It's just not sanitary in my opinion. I guess if you were throwing them away, if my toilet was filthy to the point where I needed to use like a scrub brush or something with like a lot of agitation to really get in there, then maybe I would consider, but it's just not that dirty on the surface. And I have a plastic toilet, which I would recommend, not toilet, but like the toilet seat because the fiberglass ones, gross. Everything gets in there. It's porous and it's just not, in my opinion, sanitary at all. That's just my opinion though. I have been trying out the, these are the scour stick. I don't love them. 
I wanted to get them because I thought that it would remove like any of like the rusting that are, it's in like the toilet pipe area, but it didn't work so well. So I think that I do prefer the Clorox ones, I have to say. I'll give these more of a chance, but right now the Clorox, I definitely prefer. I'm also gonna try and vacuum at least the whole upstairs on top of vacuuming the bathrooms. It's just very dusty. I don't know why, just I feel like my floors just attract dust, but we are hosting a birthday party this weekend. So I don't wanna go crazy with the vacuuming because I know that as soon as everybody leaves, I like to vacuum and mop. I just, I like things clean and back to a baseline. Speaking of dust, if you have really dusty baseboards, in this video, you can't see everything that I'm seeing. I don't know why everything looks really clean, but it's not. I use a little bit of just soap and water on a rag, like a microfiber cleaning rag, and it just gets everything off. You can see how filthy that is here. Thing new here with the floors. I'm still using the Clorox disinfectant wipes. Love them. They work great. I don't find that they leave any sticky residue or anything like that. I don't have problems with that. I love using them for the bathroom um, and on any tile, but I don't use them like in the kitchen area. So we have one bathroom done and one to go for upstairs. I do the same exact thing. So clean off the surface, declutter anything that's like old or that I'm not using, put everything away. And here's a nice close up of this sink. So it looks great, right, from this angle. Let me show you. It's yuck. There's like makeup, there's hair. It's just gross. It's real life. That's what the sink looks like. I'm always careful not to let the hair go down the sink most of the time, but sometimes it just happens. I also like the Weeman cleaners for countertops. They have like specific for stone and whatever you have. Other than that, my go-to is just like soap and water. It's just easy. It's something that you have in the house. It's nothing fancy. In the shower, I like to do vinegar with some Blue Dawn, like the original dish soap mixed in like those, you know, like the dish uh, scrub brushes where you can pre-fill them. I'll link it down below if you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you just keep that in your shower and you just like scrub a little bit at a time, especially where you're seeing like any mildew or any buildup, that really helps to keep like your cleaning time down and how often you're having to clean. So to clean inside the toothbrush holder, what I like to do is just put a little bit of soap and water in there, swoosh it around, it gets rid of all the dust, and then I just wipe it down. It's as good as new. Ah. 
I apologize. As I'm watching this footage back, I realize that my camera wasn't even anywhere near like the bowl in the toilet area. But what I wanted to mention and I didn't when I was cleaning in my kid's bathroom is I always clean around the base and like the bottom of the toilet because that's where it tends to, if you let it go, it gets really, really gross and built up and it's gonna be very difficult to remove if you do let it go. So there's just a little tip. I didn't end up vacuuming the upstairs after this. I was just beat. <laughs> I ended up just laying on the couch, if I'm being perfectly honest. I don't know what's going on with me these days, but I feel like I do two chores and I'm just like winded and done for the day, like just exhausted. <laughs> I think it's just too much going on all the time and it's just that overwhelm but I do find that when I finish cleaning, it's definitely a stress reliever and like all of my anxiety goes. It's just getting started and like getting the momentum and the motivation to get it done and get it going. That's always the hardest part. But I wanna do more cleaning videos. So if you guys have any requests of what you wanna see more of, just let me know down below in the comments and I'd be happy to film them. So this is the last thing on my to-do list for this bathroom. And then I'm gonna clean the shower, but again, I like to do it when I'm in the shower. It's just so much easier. And you don't have to worry about water getting everywhere. But I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.